Hi everyone, welcome to Market Grow Money. I'm Sashi. Today I'm going to guide you on how to use MT4 platform. This is a basic tutorial. Once you downloaded and installed MT4, your first step is to log in into your real or demo account using your own credentials. To log in into your account, go to file menu, click on login to trade account. This will bring up a window for authorization. Enter your account number in login field and password in this field. Choose your server name or you just copy and paste your server name. Click login. Now in this way you can login with your real or demo account. Demo is nothing but you can use your virtual balance to gain confidence and develop an understanding of the markets. The next step is to open the chart window. Immediately after installed MT4, you'll get to see some default currency pairs visible in Market Watch. You can choose your desired currency pair from that. To use that currency pair for trading, Click on the file menu at the top left of your screen and then click the new chart icon or else you can straight away right click on any particular currency pair visible on the market watch and select the option chart window. Make the cascade chart windows into single chart window. Names of the currency pairs will appear on the bottom of the chart window. You can notice that the default chart is a bar chart. Now we are going to change it to candle chart. To do that, just click on the candle icon on the chart toolbar. If the chart toolbar is not visible for you, make sure it is enabled. To enable it, go to the view menu, click on toolbars option. Now enable the chart toolbar or just click on the candle icon or pressing F8 properties dialog box will get up here right next to the colors tab is a tab called common here here is where you can change certain features as well as the kind of the chart you wish to see that is candlestick or line chart in this common tab, right hand side, there is three options given, bar chart, candle and line. Choose candlesticks radio button here. Now maximize the chart window by clicking on zoom icon on the chart toolbar. Now you can notice that the bar chart has changed its appearance to candle chart. Let me change the color of the candle and background now. To do that, the same right click on the chart window, go to properties option or just press F8. The properties dialog box for the selected currency pair will appear. The first tab is called colors. It lets you to choose the color scheme. You can set the background to white for a cleaner look or else black it's totally your preference choose color tab you can choose the background foreground and grid color I leave it as it is change the bar up into green bar down into red change the bull candle into green always make sure bar up and bull candle has to be with the same color Likewise, bar down and beer candle has to be with the same color, so I am changing it to red. I leave the rest of things as such. Now choose the common tab. We have already changed the chart into candlesticks. So you can make some changes in enabling show OHLC, show ask line, show period separators, show grid and show volumes. Now you can notice that candle and background changes are done.
Now we needed to save these changes into a template and we can use it for other currency pairs too. To create as a new template and use it for later, right click, choose template, click on save template, save the template as sample 1. Now go to other currency pair, just apply the template. To apply al already saved template, right click, choose template, choose the name sample1. Now we can apply this template for all our currency pair without making much of the time. You can also update the template with indicators and save it in the same name. Just give replace ok. Now right click on the chart window, choose one click trading or press Alt T. This one click trading is a useful option to make fast market order trading. You will soon learn all about the order types in Forex in my upcoming videos. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notified on my next new video. Coming back to one click trading, it is used to place market order without stop loss and take profit. We needed to entry the lot size in this box. We can later update our stop loss or take profit. Now we are going to see how to change the time frame for the chart window. Click on the time frame toolbar. If not appear, then go to view menu, toolbar and select time frame or right click on the chart window, choose the option time frames. You can zoom in and zoom out. You can choose the time frame from as low as a minute to even monthly. I am changing one hour into day time frame. The chosen time frame will appear next to the currency pair name on top of the chart. Toolbars. MT4 includes a number of objects you can use to draw on charts. From left to right on the below image, at the top you have the toolbars window with various icons, which are shortcuts that enables you to do different things. Cursor, crosshair, draw vertical line, horizontal line, trend line, equidistant channel, Fibonacci retracement, draw text, draw text label and arrows. You can also draw the support and resistance lines using this line studies toolbar. If it not appear for you then go to view menu, toolbar, select line studies toolbar. With the help of line studies toolbar you can even write some comments on chat window. You can draw trend lines, support resistance lines, Fibonacci retracement, measure the pips in a candle or for groups. To edit or remove an object, right click on the chart, then select objects list from the menu. This will open a window that displays a list of all the active objects shown on the chart. Select your chosen object from the list and then click edit to customize the indicator settings or delete to remove. These are the basic setups in chart window. Now we look on the market watch. In market watch all the currency pair along with some other asset classes will be displayed. Sometimes the currency pairs will be in hide. To display it all, make sure all the currency pairs are not hidden. In case if it gets hidden, right click on the market watch, click show all. Now all the currency pairs offered by your broker will get displayed. From the currency pairs which are only enabled already can be used for trading. 
Now to open the currency pair in a new chart window, just right click on the market watch, choose chart window. Now the chart window will be appeared. To know the spread of all currency in market watch, right click on the market watch, click on spread. A new column with spread values will get appear in this market watch area with a small exclamation mark over here. Likewise, you can also check its high low prices time by right clicking on the market watch. MT4 platform gives us options to even set the language. There are several language options to make it really simple for you to navigate this trading platform. Go to the view menu, go to the languages option, choose the language that you are most comfortable with. Now let's check on navigator. This navigator is very useful to manage multiple trading accounts if you have and also gives you access to a lot of important components of your trading platform like your accounts, expert advisors and indicators. You can see there are two accounts in my navigator window. I can easily switch over between these accounts. We can use indicator or EA expert advisors directly from navigator. If you wish, you can also buy any indicator or expert advisor. That purchased indicator or EA will only be visible on the navigator window. We can also check our balance amount, equity amount, margin amount in terminal window which is located at this bottom of the screen. The terminal window also shows the existing trades and open orders. If you don't see the terminal window in your MT4 platform, use Ctrl T or select terminal from the view main menu. MT4 is highly customizable to our individual trading preferences. It can also be used to automate our trading like using algorithms which will open and close trades on, on our behalf according to a list of set parameters. Have covered some of the basic features of this platform. I hope this video is useful to you all. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.